What's up team? Today we're going to be doing an awesome experiment where we're using photo paper and products that have sunscreen in them in order to make a picture using the power of the sun. Okay, here's how this experiment is going to work. We're going to take advantage of this UV paper. Um, it's called Nature Print Paper. Uh, it's basically photo paper. It's activated by the sun's UV rays. Um, it actually changes color when it's out in the sun. And then with water, it sort of deactivates the chemical reaction and then you're left with a really cool sort of like outline of uh, something that you put over top of the surface that blocked the UV rays. So that got me thinking. I was like, well, what else blocks UV rays? And I was like, sunscreen blocks UV rays. And I was like, this is perfect. Um, because this would be a perfect example of how I could show um, how sunscreen works and sort of the importance of sunscreen. So I reached out to one of my favorite companies because I use all of their products. Um, this company is called Jack Black. Now, one of the reasons I love Jack Black is that if you look right here on the label, it says pure science. Hello, match made in heaven. And just so you guys know, this product has nothing to do with the actor at all. And so what we're gonna be using today is their uh, daily face moisturizer, their uh, double duty face moisturizer, which has SPF 20 in it. And we're also gonna be using the lip balm, which has SPF 25 in it. I took a picture of myself like this, right? And what I did is I made it super high contrasty. So the whites went super white, the blacks went super black, and I got rid of all the gray. I inverted it on Photoshop and I made it into a negative image, which is super scary. It kind of looked like a demon right there. Ah! We're gonna do three different uh, paintings, if you will. One, two, three. The first one, we're going to outline all of this black with the, uh, the face moisturizer, with the SPF 20. Then we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do it with the lip balm. And then over here on the third one, we're gonna do half with this moisturizer and half with just regular lotion. Sort of show the difference between what happens when you wear just you know regular uh, face moisturizer and where, when you wear one with SPF in it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and lay that down on place here. Now what's really great about this is I actually don't have to be a good painter. And neither do you, because all you have to really do is just follow like the, it's kind of like paint by numbers. You just, all you gotta do is just follow the outline. So wherever there is a you know a dark ink black area you just paint over top of that this is the photo paper i'm gonna go ahead and put this uh, behind our little painting here cool all right so there we go let's go make this picture of magic happen one two three four five six seven eight nine are you seeing this it's turning color. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 23, 24, 25. Done. Back in. All right, let's develop it nice and clean. Right into the water. See it changes immediately. So it like kind of reverses. The dark blue goes white and vice versa. All right, these are looking nice and fancy. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on our and you need aluminum foil there. What? It's so sick. It works so perfectly. From the power of the sun and some SPF 20, some Jack Black face lotion, we now have science art. What? What? That's actually really good. I'm really proud of that. I think I feel really good about that. So even though we were only outside for 25 seconds, you could see physically what happens, right? So we could see that the UV rays were bombarding our photo paper and it made this awesome, very cool artwork of my face. The UV rays that are coming down from the sun, there's UV A, B, and C. Uh, UV C rays don't really actually even get to the Earth's surface. They get caught up in the atmosphere, they get absorbed by the atmosphere, and they don't actually make it down to you. Um, UV A penetrates really deeply into the skin, and UV B sort of like hits the, the superficial part of the skin. Now, scientists have been going back and forth for a long time, always finding new discoveries. Um, it used to be thought that the UV A rays are the ones that make you look like older and wrinkled and uh, lead to premature aging, and that the UV B rays were the ones 
ones that were leading specifically to sunburn. Now, that is still true, but they're finding that they actually both sort of lead to the same thing. So, how do you solve that problem? You get broad spectrum sunscreen, sunscreen that helps block both UVB and UVA rays. Another way of doing that is just make it a part of your daily regimen. So put sunscreen in your daily stuff, the stuff that you use all the time. And so that's why, again, I love this stuff because I just use it right after I shave, I put this stuff on my face and then put it on my arms. It's nice and easy, it's already like a moisturizer. And then this, I pretty much just always have one of these in my pocket because as you guys know, I'm addicted to lip balm. So if you're already addicted to lip balm, lip balm, um, you might as well have one that has SPF in it, that way it protects your lips. All right, we back in team, we back in. So what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna use this lip balm right here. So I'm gonna get a little container so I can put some of that in. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah! Oh, booyah! Uh, the one thing I noticed about this is uh, it works more like, you know, it's a balm, so you, you put it on your lips. It's not, you know, a lotion like this. It's, you know, it's got a lot more liquid in it. Um, the way this ends up looking is a lot different, which is actually nice because it sort of represents the way it protects uh, your lips. You really see uh, that it's stuck in place and created this nice, really beautiful image. And as you can see, it really does block UV rays. I mean, it, it blocks the crap out of them. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do sort of a comparison, right? Because that's really cool that it worked perfectly, but like, we need some sort of baseline, right? We need to show that, you know, a lotion by itself doesn't just block uh, the UV rays, but only uh, lotion or face moisturizer with SPF in it can really block the UV rays. So what I'm gonna do is on one half of this, I'm going to use the Jack Black product with SPF 20 in it, um, the Pure Science one. And on the right side, I'm just gonna use regular generic lotion with uh, no SPF in it. So you can see how dramatic that is. Um, this side clearly blocked the UV rays. Here you can see you can you can see just a little bit right here. So our first one right here, this is the uh, Jack Black, the one that had the SPF 20 in it. Came out perfectly, beautiful, beautiful Nick Juhas there, nailed it. Um, I really like that image. I, th I think I'm literally gonna frame that. Um, then over here we have the one with the SPF 20 in it, uh, the lip balm right here, uh, Jack Black. That turned out great. Now here we go, here's this product right here, and then this generic lotion right here, these two guys right here. And as you can see, the one with the SPF 20 in it did a fantastic job at blocking the sun, and this side did not. So what does that mean? That means that products that we, uh, that we use daily really should have SPF in them because that way, um, we're always getting protected from the sun. It becomes a part of our daily regimen and it's just like a part of our routine and we're always protected from UVA and UVB rays uh, because they can damage the skin, they can lead to other health problems and you always wanna be looking young and fresh. <laughs> I love Jack Black because they take the scientific approach to all of their products. They do such an excellent job at picking all the ingredients um, that make all the products like perfect for what they're for. Um, big shout out to Jack Black for making this video possible. Um, there's a link in the description below to the website. I highly suggest you guys check it out. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, were you super surprised that you could paint a picture of yourself just using UV paper and sunscreen? Um, make sure that you're really using a sunscreen every day. I wanna make sure that you guys are always looking healthy always looking fresh, always looking nice and vibrant. And um, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys really soon.